Hi, this is Lance, and I'm going to talk about adding audio to Google Slides from a Chromebook. So I'm specifically saying this from a Chromebook because some of the file scenarios are a little different than if you were on a Mac or a PC, but essentially it'll work the same way, just things might look a little different. Uh, this is a two-part series video. I'm going to first start with one that talks about the Google Drive setup. This is an important step in getting your audio files set and ready to go and having them available. Uh, one of the issues with doing it through Google Drive is that the audio files must be viewable by other people. The second video is going to be about actually inserting the audio in some different scenarios where you would want to have students or you as a teacher would want to insert the audio. So the first part is setting up the audio space in Google Drive. And what I'm going to do is talk about setting up a Google Drive folder, changing the view permissions. And the reason for that is just because of convenience. It's going to save so much time if you just set up a folder, set up the view permissions that anyone can view it. So that way, when you put in those audio files in your slides presentation, then what will happen is that they will actually be able to hear them. If you choose not to do it the way that I'm talking about, then what will end up happening is you will have to set permissions for each audio file individually. Instead of doing each audio file individually and forgetting which ones you set the permissions for, this is a simple way that you can cover your bases and just have them all available. So what I'm suggesting is create the folder, change the permissions for the folder, and then place all the audio files in that folder. So here are some places that you can get audio uh, there's lots of different free audio options. Uh, I like this musiclab.chromeexperiments.com. That's a fun place. Soundtrap has a free version. We do pay for it in our school district, uh, and it is a fun and fabulous place to create your own audio tracks. Um, then there's also free audio tracks in YouTube. If you go to youtube.com slash audio library, and then also you can record your own. There's tons of places to record your own. Most PCs and Macs already have audio recorders built in. There's tons of free audio recorders in the Chrome web store for Chromebook. And so I'm going to probably focus just on these two right here. So that way you can see how you can get audio tracks totally free and not have to worry about breaking copyright. So let's get this thing rolling. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go to my Google Drive and I need to create a folder. And I'm going to click on new folder and come up with a name and hit create. And then the next thing I need to do is change the permissions on that. I can get there two different ways. I can right click on the folder and go to share, or I can click on the silhouette of the person up here when I have the folder selected. Either way is appropriate. I usually don't use this option here because it limits your abilities to uh, be able to change the permissions as in depth as I want to. I'm gonna click on the share icon, then choose get shareable link, which is the same as this. But then what it does is it takes me to this option here where it says anyone and it'll say your domain name uh, with a link can view. I'm going to choose to change this to, I'm gonna go to more. I'm gonna make it that I'm gonna turn on anyone who has a link can access, no sign in required in case I want it to be a public display. If I'm gonna just keep this on within my school domain, then what I would do is I would just keep it on anyone at MSDS to Bend County with the link. You could even create two different folders, one public and one within domain, if you wanted to do that. I'll hit save and I will hit done. And now what's fantastic about this is that any audio files that I place in this folder will be accessible by my viewers. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some audio tracks. So I'm going to go to youtube.com slash audio library. I already have this up and you have some different options here. They have free music and they also have free sound effects. So it depends on your purpose here. So if I want some background music for the entire slides presentation, I could select that. If I want background music just for an individual slide, I could select that. If I need sound effects for individual slides, I could do that. So lots of different scenarios here where I could utilize sound effects and audio tracks. So if you want to listen to one, you can click on the little play icon. Kind of like that one and you'll notice that it says you're free to use this song in any of your videos if it specifies who has made them then what you have to do is you have to give credit to the person that has created the file um, in this case i don't have to do any attribution so i'm going to click download it's going to go to my folder 
on my Chromebook, my downloads folder. And then what I'm going to do is go to my Google Drive here, open up my audio files, and I'm gonna click on show in folder here. If I can't find this, if it, it's gone away, I can search for the files app here on the launcher, choose files. That's another way to get to it, but I could have hit the show in folder would have been faster. Now that I can see my files app, here's my audio track here. And then here's my folder. All I have to do is drag it in there. It'll upload it. I'm good to go. So there's a song. Let's say I want something maybe a little more mysterious. So I can even change the mood here. Let's do dark. Listen to this one. So depending on the mood, I can select it. Again, I could go to the Files app, but I can also hit Show in Folder. It'll pull up the Files app as well. Either one's appropriate. Go to my Google Drive here, so that way I can get to it. And I need to open Files and move that into Google Drive. It's as simple as just clicking and dragging it in. And it'll upload it. And then let's say I want some sound effects too. So let's go to Sound Effects. Now, any audio files that I want to use, then what I can do is I can also rename them if need be. Uh, I would just right click on them and select rename. The other way that I can go about doing that is clicking on one, clicking on the three dots here, and I can also rename the file there if need be. All right, and so that is how you would get some audio files from YouTube in the audio library, and you would place them into your Google Drive for use. And the next place I'm going to do is I'm going to use an audio recorder. Let's say you want to record your own voice. You can actually do that on Soundtrap too. There's tons of places on the internet that you can do this, but I'm going to use a simple audio recorder that's just built in the Chromebook. So I'm going to click on my launcher, type in audio recorder. You can get this from the Chrome web store. If you're on a Chromebook, they have the title all put together instead of separating audio recorder. I'm going to select it. It's real simple to use. So I'm going to use this slide right here as a basis for what I need to say in my audio track. And to record audio, you click on the microphone. And then when you're done, you click on it again and you hit the download button. Real simple to use. Sometimes you need to record your voice when you need to add extra information about a slide. Maybe you're just telling a digital story or maybe you just need some background music and sound or maybe People have asked questions. You have those questions posed and then you can answer them with audio. There's lots of fun ways that you can use your voice with any Google Slides presentation. So I stop it and I hit download. I'm going to go ahead and rename these so that way I am clear as to what they are. And if I'm not sure what they are, I can just listen to them straight from here. This is a cursor icon. Oh. This is an audio icon. Okay, so I have my audio files ready. Click back on my drive. You'll see that this is shared properly. You'll see that there is a silhouette of a person. That means that this is a shared folder. Any of the audio files that reside in here will be viewable. If you're wanting to know how to actually add the audio to Google Slides, then what you need to do is check out the description. In the description, you will see the link to the next video. I hope you found this video to be helpful.